we have found many remarkable artifacts all over the world, some of them even change and rewrite the history as we know it. Most of these artifacts that have been found have baffled researchers and left us with more questions than answers. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five mysterious out-of-place artifacts. The Mysterious Lady of Elche Back in 1897, a group of archaeologists discovered a stunningly beautiful artifact located on a private estate in Spain. The discovery was that of a bust of a woman's head. This statue is believed to date back to the 4th century BC, and today it's one of Spain's most famous statues. The origin of the statue remains a mystery and many researchers can't agree on a number of things. Many scholars believe this sculpture is Iberian, and it may also be associated with Tanit. Tanit was the goddess of Carthage. On the other hand, some believe this piece of work might be reflecting an Atlantean goddess. The Atlanteans were said to have lived in Atlantis. The Atlanteans grew to be an advanced civilization for its time, far ahead of all other civilizations surrounding it. They were known to be much more developed in maritime navigation, city infrastructure, and even agriculture. The actual city of Atlantis is known to have been a main citadel in the centre, surrounded by six concentric rings, three of water and three of land. In the dialogue, Plato described the city of Atlantis as being 50 stades from the sea, which translates to just under six miles. Regarding the statue, however, many have suggested this bust has nothing to do with Atlantis. One thing that can be noted, though, is that the appearance of this sculpture is rather unusual. It has an elongated head and spools on the side of the head. Some have theorized these spools are not even a part of the headdress. They claim these might be a type of technological headgear that probably originates from the theory she was from Atlantis. The headdress of the sculpture is truly eye-catching. It features two large coils, better known as rodettes, on both sides of the head. Many believe this must have been a ceremonial headdress and that the woman could have been a priestess. The expressionless gaze of this sculpture is undeniably mysterious. When it was originally found, the sculpture contained multiple traces of white, red and blue decorative paint. With so many theories and stories about the Lady of Elche, her statue really seems to be illustrating the cultural importance. She is currently the famous ancient icon of Spain, and the bust is believed to represent Spain's cultural past. However, many argue that who she is and what she represents is a complete mystery. Dorchester Pot, a mysterious out-of-place artifact Back in June 1851, a reprint report of Scientific American appeared in the Boston Transcript, and it was about a metallic vase previously discovered by the miners. Originally, the vase was found in two parts among the rubble that was dynamited out of solid sedimentary rock located in Dorchester. It would not be so strange, but this vase came from 4.5 meters below the surface and it was embedded deep inside the rock. This usually indicates it was probably there for an extremely long time. The bell-shaped vase consists of a silver and zinc alloy and the sides are filled with flower and bouquet arrangements. Throughout the last 30 years, the vase got examined by many experts. One of them was the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. This museum operates a state-of-the-art analysis with a laboratory built together with MIT. The vase was run through various tests over two years, and no one was able to confirm its origin. Surprisingly, geologists managed to date the rock, and it's believed to be at least one million years old. Acid testing done on the vase confirmed these credible time parameters. So some of the questions that were asked is how did this vase stay so well preserved after all these years and how did it get deep in the sedimentary rock and why was it there in the first place? As of today, these questions cannot be answered and over the years many theories have been put forward by researchers, however most of these can't be proven. The Genetic Disc and Its Mysterious Existence The genetic disc is one of the most mysterious artifacts ever found on our planet. 
Originally, this disc was discovered in the territory of Colombia. It weighs about 2 kilograms and is 27 centimeters in diameter. Both sides of the disc are covered in various illustrations of the fetal development. However, some have argued how would an ancient civilization have known what a fetus would look like while in the womb. As many have pointed out, it's hard to believe this knowledge was around 6,000 years ago. If anyone had this kind of knowledge back then, what else did they know? It's important to note that the drawings found on the disc are impossible to repeat. Gutierrez Lega is a Colombian professor who has been gathering unexplained artifacts for a long time. His artifacts are mainly stones with illustrations of people, animals, symbols and inscriptions in a completely unknown language and writing. The main exhibit of the professor's collection is the genetic disc, made from lidite. It's a stone mined in Lydia. This stone lidite has a similar hardness to granite and it also possesses a layered structure together with it. It's extremely hard to work with this stone. Since ancient times, this stone was used to manufacture jewels and mosaics. 6,000 years ago, tools were nowhere near as good as they are now. Cutting something from this stone back then should have been impossible. The genetic disc is made from this same mineral, yet there are very detailed drawings all over it. Many believe that the drawings closely resemble a print rather than a carving. The illustrations found on this disc are rather unusual as well. The drawings are a source of many questions we still cannot answer. Many believe the drawings represent the entire process of the beginning of human life. It's showing both sides with incredible accuracy and resembles the purpose of female and male reproductive organs. The disc teaches us about the moment of conception, development of the baby inside the womb, and finally the birth of the baby. According to the researchers, this disc is at least 6,000 years old and it does not belong to any of the Colombian cultures in South America. No one can explain what the technology is behind this object. Our mainstream history cannot say anything about the existence of this unknown object and we are most likely not going to get our answers anytime soon. 100,000 year old electrical component filled with mystery. Going back in 1998, electrical engineer John J. Williams found an object that appeared to look similar to that of an electrical connector. It was found in the ground on a hiking trip in North America. The object itself was found in the middle of nowhere. There were no human settlements around, no industrial complexes, roads, airports or factories nearby. John refused to give out the exact location where he found the object, so there are many skeptics who believe it's all a hoax. Today, this artifact is better known as the Petrodox. It's a device with an undeniable similarity to an electrical component. There is a huge amount of secrecy and mystery surrounding this interesting object. John received multiple offers up to $500,000 for this strange device and he always refused to sell it. He made sure the researchers could do their analysis on the device and made it available to them only for those purposes. Only a couple took time to study this mysterious object. The Petrodox is not a concretion, accretion, fossil or pumice. It does not contain any cement, glues, resins or mortar. According to Williams, who has done his own research on this device, he found that the object itself reveals no trace of having been glued and he is certain that the object existed before the formation of the rock happened. According to multiple geological analysis, the rock is at least 100,000 years old. Williams and many people believe this genuine artifact belonged to an advanced ancient civilization or even an extraterrestrial race. Williams is still willing to let the researchers check out the device and he still wishes to know the story behind it. The Mysterious Nampa Figurine The Nampa figurine was found in 1889 when workers drilled the water well near Nampa located in southwest Idaho. This artifact seems to be skillfully formed in clay and ever since its discovery it's been baffling scientists. According to the story, the workers reached a layer of clay over 90 meters down in the well. After reaching this point, their steam pump spat out this piece of brownish clay that looked like a small figurine. The object itself is described as being in great condition, bearing in mind how far down it was discovered. 
Those who have studied the figurine have said it looks like a female figure and does not seem to have been manufactured recently. According to Professor F. W. Putnam of Harvard University, quartz grains found under the doll's right arm were cemented by iron molecules. This is a clear indicator that this artifact might be very old. Many scientists took time and investigated this controversial figurine. They all conducted diverse tests, and they all agreed that the figurine is fully authentic and also of ancient origins. But what do you all think of these five mysterious out-of-place artifacts? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.